Hey guys, this is Danny Jugan. I'm the creator of Axis Football, and in this video I want to show you guys how to use some of the mods. Specifically, we're going to look at the stadium mods in this game. Um, so, quick bit of information before you guys even look at doing mods. Um, make sure that when you mod stuff, you back up your mods. Uh, if I push an update to the game, and it forces you to re-download stuff. All of the mods that you've done um, will go away and they'll get replaced by the default stuff. So make sure you keep a backup so that when the game updates you can just drag your mods back in. Uh, so the first thing we're going to look at is how to get to the mods folder. Um, if you go to your game and right click on it and go to properties um, and then you go to local files along the top and then click on browse local files that will take you to where the game is stored on your computer. Um, then simply double click on the mods folder that you see and that mods folder will look like this. Once you, it looks a little bit different on mine um, because the game is not quite up on Steam yet. This is the local version that I have on my machine. And here you see um, the different things you can mod inside of the game. We're going to focus on the stadium mods today. There are other tutorial videos for the other types of mods, so if you're interested in doing those, um, just check those out. Alright, so let's look inside the stadium mods folder. And you see the game ships with seven stadiums. Um, there's also a template for both the field texture and the field goal nets. Uh, we'll take a look at that in just a second. So if we go inside each of the stadium folders, you'll see the same set of files. There's a texture for the field goal nets, uh, for the field itself, for the Jumbotron. Uh, this preview image is what's shown inside of the game when you're selecting your stadium. Uh, and then the, the banner ad is what is showed inside of the stadium around the ring of the stands. And um, all of these are moddable. If you uh, replace the files, they are what's going to get loaded into the game. Um, so you can change any of these out. You can change the name of the stadium uh, just by changing what's in the text file. Okay, so let's take a look at the template. This is a layered PNG. Um, I'm opening it up in Fireworks, but you can use Photoshop, GIMP. Um, whatever it is that you prefer to use for your image editor, as long as it's got layers, um, you'll be fine. So if you go to layers here, you can see along the right side all of the different options. There are several different, um, there's a couple different grass, there's some um, dirty and wet and muddy grass. Um, what's shown right now is the turf. And the nice thing is because these are all layered, it becomes really easy to edit. Um, you can add snow to the field, dirt. Uh, different levels of dirt um, and some different things. So this is all stuff that you guys can play with. Uh, you've got lots of options for the dashes around the field, what color the stuff is. And so I encourage you guys to um, create some different stuff, mess around with it, um, and share it with the community. All right, so that's the uh, template there. And the same thing is for the uh, field go nets as well. We have a template for that. And then all I'm going to do real quick is just to show you kind of how this works. Um, so, in fact, I wanted to change the preview image of this particular stadium. This is a Dollar Junior Stadium. So I'm going to actually switch over to the game really quick. And I am going to load this up. And then we'll go just into a quick match. And if we go to Dollar Junior Stadium, we see that this is the preview image that we've got. Um, it's the Seattle team. Um, and what I want to do is I'm going to replace that with another image that I've got. So I'm going to drag this in here. And when you're replacing the files, it's important that you have the correct name. If the name is not correct, it's not going to get loaded in. And if it's looking for a file and the file's not there, the game's going to crash. It's not going to run. Okay, so the preview image has to be named preview image. Another really important thing is to make sure that the file type matches. So the original preview image is a JPEG. So any preview image that you are replacing or modding also has to be a JPEG. Okay, if it's a PNG or something else, it's not going to work. Okay, so 
a lot of times the best thing to do is just to copy and paste. So I'm going to copy the actual name and then I'm going to delete this one. And then I'm going to rename this and make it preview image. Okay. So I'm going to close out of this and go back to the game and run it again this time. And this time when we go into Dollar Junior Stadium, we see that it's got the new preview image that's got Miami on it. And you can do the same thing when you're doing franchise mode. Uh, if you want to go into franchise mode and then options, you can select your stadium preference when you are home, and it will show all of the ones that you have there as well. Okay, so the last thing that um, I want to let you guys know is the game actually supports an unlimited amount of stadiums. So let me go back into the folder real quick. So when we go into stadiums, right now it comes with seven, but it's very easy to add another one. Um, all that you do is you simply create another folder. You can call it whatever you want. Um, this doesn't actually get shown in the game any, anywhere the name of the folder. Um, but for example, let's say you want to do a um, snowy field texture and you want to redo like the ice bowl. So we can call it the ice bowl field. And you can change out the, the texture to something else, change out the preview image. Um, and now when you go into the game, and this is the what I've got, this is the same preview image that's used in the seventh stadium, so we'll see it twice. Uh, but you'll get the point. So we had a Cardi field, and then if we go, now we have the ice ball field as well. Okay, so it supports unlimited number of stadiums. You could, if you wanted, go ahead and create separate stadiums for each of the teams in Access Football. You could certainly do that. Um, but I wanted to let you know that it, it does support as many as you want. Um, all right, so that'll do it for us. Um, last thing I want to cover is please share your work. Um, so if you go to the the mod section of the title screen right here. There is a link to our forums, um, the forums where we encourage everyone in the community to share the mods that they have. This is also where you'll go to download other people's mods. So if people have um, modded the teams or the rosters or they've created new field textures or audio files, this is where you go to share what you've made, download what others have made, uh, and just join in the community there. So I definitely encourage you, definitely check it out and share what you've got. Um, all right, that'll do it for us. Uh, thank you so much for supporting Access Football and making better football options for the community.